Hey there and welcome! In this video I will review the KWITS KVB01 battery tester. The KVB is a 12 or 24 volts battery tester that will allow you to test your car battery. But wait, there is more! You can also test UPS, motorcycle and marine batteries. In a bit I will show you the basics of its usage and also recordings of some tests I made in my own car. So bear with me. Time for the normal disclaimer, so let me tell you that Kwit sent this device for review free of charge for me and didn't pay me for doing this review. I would like to thank Kwit for their collaboration with the channel and also my viewers that sponsor the channel by using the affiliate links in the screen or in the video description before paying their purchases on AliExpress or Amazon. Same price to you, but a big help to maintain the channel. Thank you all for your support. Enough said, after a quick unboxing, let's test my car battery. Okay, this is the box where the KVB01 is delivered. It's a retail box, not bad. Uh, all in English, nothing Chinese. So I think this is aimed for the European markets and America. Let's open it and see what we get inside. Okay, nice box. Yeah. Whoa. It comes in this neat bag. And this looks pretty cool. Okay, we have here the alligator clamps or claws. Yeah, and here is the battery tester. Okay, so yeah, nothing much. We seem to, to have something in here. Uh, it doesn't come with instructions. Uh, here they are. The user manual seems to be from 12 volts to 24 volts. I think this is mainly aimed for car batteries, maybe also solar panels, but uh, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. It seems a well organized manual. Here it is, start and stop of the car, you can change, it has all the instructions that you need. So let's see what we have here, we have six buttons uh, for control, but I think that we need to have this connected to the battery to operate. Now is the time to talk about this video sponsor, PCBWay. I always use PCBWay for creating my boards with a professional factory quality as you saw in my millivolts voltage reference board. It is very cheap to manufacture your PCBs on PCBWay. You can manufacture 10 PCBs for only 5 bucks. How awesome is this? And it is pretty easy also. Just insert here the PCB dimensions and you'll have an instant code. So when you want a PCB, visit PCBWay to get your code. And if it is your first time ordering from PCBWay, you can use our access link for a $5 credit. And don't forget, they also have component assembly service, a 3D printing service and much more. Something that I didn't tell you because it was winded, the cable, is this length. So we have about 2 meters of cable in terms of length, so it seems pretty good. We don't have to be on the top of the battery to use the device. Let's first start by removing the protective cover. Yeah, like this. Ooh, awesome. So to power this device, you have to have it connected to the battery. Since I don't have a battery here and to show you the menus, uh, I will emulate one by connecting to, the, my, to my power supply. Obviously, we will not be able to do everything. Uh, well, most of the things uh, we will not be able to do it, 
but I will able to show you the menus and explain what are the options. So let's power the device with my power supply, uh, opening the channel. I have here 12.75 volts. Let me see if you can see. Yeah, I think it will be a bit hard to see the screen. Let's see like this. Okay, it seems that it will work okay. Uh, so we have 12.75 volts because I put my power supply at 12.8 volts. Uh, it, the reason of this is because the battery normally is over 12 volts and that has some influence, influence uh, while using this device. So we have the five keys, uh, uh, six keys uh, as I show you. We have the up and down for options. Uh, the enter to enter in the testing mode. We have the back key or ask. We have history key. And finally, we have the language key. I will show you everything in a bit. So let's start by entering the device. The first thing that you have to select is if you are using 12 or 24 volts. I will assume the 12 for now. Uh, in terms of uh, operation, you have immediately four options in the screen using the up and down you can change what you want to do but before going on let me show you the language key let's go back a bit and press here the button for the language i don't see, yeah like this as you can see you have several options uh, i don't know if we have yeah, basically we have those in the screen. We don't have any other option out of the screen. You just select what you want and press M to select it. Okay, going back again to the, the menu, you select 12 or 24 volts. I will go again with 12. And you have also uh, the S key to going back, as I told you, and this key for the history. You have a history of tests. Let me see if it is available. Uh, we have to go back and press the history key. Well, those are some of the records that uh, we, I already tested the system. As you can see, it says, please charge. So I need to see what is going on. Uh, for example, this one, it's a measure that it said it was good. So very nice. Uh, yeah, basically, you have a, a history of the last values uh, the device measured. So going again back to the test, you have the battery test, you have the cranking test. So this is the cold crank test. Uh, it's a test that measures the output in terms of amps of the battery in a temperature, I don't know right now, but I believe it's minus four to minus 18 degrees. I'm not sure, but I think that's something like that. The engine takes much more energy uh, for starting. And this is a test that for the 30 seconds, the amount of uh, current the battery can uh, supply to the engine. So we have the loading test. Is the loading test is the energy while you have stuff lo running in the car, like the AC, the media entertainment, the your lights, everything like that. And the charging test, this is the charging of the battery, the, the voltage that uh, enters the battery for charging. Uh, I will show you all of these uh, running on in my car in just a moment. Let's just emulate the battery tests. I'm using, don't forget, I'm using a power supply, not a battery. So I will say it doesn't matter like, standard SLI. I want the European standards like, uh, yeah, and parameters I will leave by default. So it's testing my power supply right now. And it says it's to replace uh, because we are unable to, to do some of the tests because this is a power supply, it's not a battery. Uh, so the resistance, it's not possible to do this test uh, at all. Okay, going back. And that's it. Let's take this to the outside. I will show you this working in my car. Uh, I will try to, it's pretty freezing outside, but I will try to, to show you. Let's see if I can get a sunny day.
So after two storms here in Portugal, uh, we are in the outside of my home in a sunny day and I am finally able to record this um, for testing the battery on my Nissan Qashqai. I think it's from 2019. So what I'm going to do now is connect the KPB-01 directly to my battery and do some tests. So let's wrap this up. The Kwitz KVB01 works with several types of batteries, gel, lead acid and so on. It seems a pretty useful device for automotive electrical problems detection. Not something that I need to do in a regular way, but it's something that is always handy to have around. The use is pretty simple and intuitive, but as new user in this kind of devices I only had a bit difficulty to figure it out, the parameter option in the fifth step of the battery measurement test. I read all the manual and even went to see the datasheet of my car battery, but I didn't figure that out. I didn't have the opportunity to test this device with others with, to establish a comparison in terms of features. But for what I tested, it covers mostly all the basic te tests that you can do with a car battery. You have the condition of the battery, cold crank amps, load and charge test. Something also worth of mentioning is the cable length. Uh, sometimes these devices have a cable very short like a half meter or something like that. And that makes you work uh, on top of the motor. So this one has two meters cable and that will give you the liberty to work outside the area of the motor and that is pretty cool. If you are looking for a tester and this one got your attention to the point of buying it, let me just let you know that you can sponsor the channel without extra cost to you by using the affiliate links in the screen or in the video description before paying your purchases on AliExpress or Amazon. Again, same price to you, a big help to the channel, so mm, thank you a lot. And if this video was in some way useful to you and you want to help me spread the word, just slap that like button to boost it in the YouTube algorithm. And remember that every week I receive new equipment to test, so subscribing might be a good idea to keep you in the loop. Thank you for watching this video until the end. I hope that was useful and let's meet again in my next one.